Hey guys, Abby here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to farm the new DLC Guns, Love, and Tentacles for DLC loot where you don't have to save quit. So there are many places where you could farm for dedicated loot and bosses that you can farm, but this area is going to give you a lot of legendary specific to the DLC and also just regular world drops. So you can get geared up fast or try some of the new weapons if you're interested in that. Of course, for certain drops, you're going to have to go to the specific drop location but this is going to be really great for Xbox players, PS4 players if you don't want to deal with loading screens. And then I also want to let you guys know that there's another mini event going on. This one is going to be all the way through the end of April. It goes till April 30th. It is the co-op loot drop. So whenever you are playing co-op and this also counts for split screen. Badass enemies are gonna drop more loot for you. So definitely try to group up with your friends, have split screen, or you can also run true takedown. That counts as the co-op loot drops. But for this farm, I'm gonna show you guys how to defeat these guys and load back up without safe quitting. You could also do this with a friend too if you want that increased drop. You just both have to travel back. So we're gonna go to Xylorgus. And then we're going to go to Heart's Desire. And then we're going to spawn in at this What Beats Beneath. You can always travel back to the main fast travel if you need to grab ammo and then travel back here. But this is where we're going to start the farm. All right, guys. So once we're loaded in here, we're going to drop down here. And there are going to be two guys kind of guarding this little gate here, Zam and Tom. Yes. And what we're going to do is kill one of them. So you only want to kill one of them. We'll kill Zam. I'm using the Unseen Threat Sniper Rifle. I love this freaking gun from the DLC. It's super great. And you can see we got some loot. So all we're going to do here is go travel back. Just use the fast travel. And like I said, if you need ammo, you can always go to the main fast travel. There's also a bunch of boxes around if you do need ammo. We're going to drop down again. You see they both spawn. And we're going to kill Zam again. It doesn't matter which one you kill. He's just uh, being more lovely and aggressive. If I could hit my crits. There we go. And we got some loot. And now we're going to travel back. And that is how easy it is, guys. All you have to do is just drop down, kill one of them, fast travel back to the fast travel. They respawn and kill the other one. It's a great way to get DLC drops if you're just looking for general weapons. If you're not looking for anything super specific, then you can go here. I've gotten class mods from here. I've gotten a lot of guns from here. I actually got three Cutsmans yesterday from here, so it could also be a good way to get regular drops as well. As you see here, we got the new Moe's class mod. So yeah, we basically have gotten two or three legendaries each time. Sometimes I'll get more. It depends. Make sure you have your hotfixes applied because I think they did do a hotfix to fix the drop rates because they were pretty bad when the DLC released. I think there was an issue. So that is it. I'm going to put a quick clip in here right now from my stream. Sorry for the quality loss, but from my stream where we were getting a ton of legendaries last night. So it's definitely something that's quick and easy. You could do it with a friend to keep that increased co-op bonus of the event that's going on right now, or you could do it in split screen as well. So this is a super easy, great farm to do in the DLC, and you don't have to worry about loading times because you never have to save quit. Just reload up to the fast travel. Make sure you're only killing one of them. It's a great way to just get general loot drops. We had a lot of fun last night on stream doing this. And I have to give a huge shout out to Weirdbeard in the chat last night that brought this to my attention. I thought it was an awesome farm that I wanted to share with the community. So hopefully you guys found it helpful. A couple other things you can do with this co-op event that's running right now. You can also run the Freddy farm where you just go back to the fast travel. Same type of technique with Freddy from Jackpot DLC. You can also run the takedown with friends or on true takedown. Both of those are going to give you the co-op drops. It's insane the amount of loot that's dropping from true takedown right now now because we have the takedown shakedown and the co-op event running at the same time so i would definitely take advantage of that before thursday if you can but for general drops in the dlc i found that this is a really nice way to get it 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more Borderlands 3 videos. And as always, you can check me out on twitch.tv slash abbyhour. We stream Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Think what we want them to fix. Oh. <laughs>